It's great to have you here. Thanks for your company. Now, ahead of the 2019 budget presentation uh, in Parliament on Thursday, the minority is predicting an introduction of new taxes. The new taxes, according to the minority spokesperson on finance, Kesala Tufosin, will be the finance ministry's solution to bridging the gaping fiscal deficit. Now, leadership of artisans at the Swami Magazine Industrial Harbin is calling on government to allocate some percentage of the annual budget to artisans and for them to upgrade themselves. It's among other expectations like reduction in import duties and taxes on spare parts of the ports. Chairman of the National Association of Garages, Nana Ose Bunsu and other members have been speaking to Prince Apia on their expectations of the 2019 budget. <laughs> The 2018 budget was expected to bring a lot of hope, especially for uh, businesses and artisans here at the Swami Magazine Enclave. But what came out was the need for taxes to come down, especially on spare parts and other imports. The 2019 budget is a few days ahead, and we want to find out from the artisans whether the expectations remain the same on spare parts and imports, or it has changed for something else. The government should also consider Ghana National Association of Garages in terms of this budget is making. You should at least allocate a, a small percentage for the association to also train uh, our youth coming to meet up the expectation because new technology is coming. So if our youth are not trained to meet up that expectation, it will come to a time that our idea will be archaic. And without the support, we cannot do that. Because these uh, uh, diagnostic machines, they cost a lot. And training a person for a month or two will also cost. So we expect the government will uh, at least uh, reconsider things uh, and uh, allocate us a percentage in this newly uh, budget that is coming. We, the artisans of magazine, we expect nothing but the best. And we have a problem which, which now doesn't make our, our, our work attractive anymore because when you, when you need a loan, all the banks, they, they give loans to only uh, government workers or, or, how do you call it, the, uh, the, the workers in the former sector, but doesn't give loans to the informal sector. So it has become a problem for us. When we need loans, we don't have it. We have no way to access any loan from any bank. Also, for this reason, our business is no more at government to make allocation for we the artisans so that our our businesses will be attractive. I import spare parts from outside the country. We want government to reduce the import duties. That is all we are expecting in this budget. Government should reduce the import duties at the ports. Well, there you have it. Some expectations shared with my colleague in Kumase. And let me now bring you some highlights of the 2018 budget. And uh, Norvan Aqua Hayford, he is with our business desk and he'll run us through. Hello, Norvan. Hi, Bernice. Tell us what the highlights are and, and so far uh, achievements we've been able to talk with that. Okay, so um, this is highlights of the 2018 budget as was read on the 15th of November 2017 by the finance minister. Now, what were the real um, things that were supposed to be done? The theme for last year's budget was putting Ghana to work. We're expected to be put back to work. And the key highlight, overall real GDP that was uh, from January to June, uh, you're talking of 2017, um, is 7.8%. And then also... If you look at end period inflation as of October, at the time, it was 11.6. Uh, you had the non-oil GDP at 4%. 
overall budget deficit on cash basis as percentage of GDP as of September. That was the previous year. It was 4.6. And then you look at end year expected deficit was 6.8. Now, what were the sector growths in 2017 as was being shown by that particular budget? We're told that agriculture grew by 4.3. Industry was 17.7. Service was 4. Point seven. The depreciation of the CD against the dollar as the end of October 2017 was at 4% according to the budget statement at the time. Now, interest rates development within the year 2017, you have all that here. But when, when you come to 2018, the policy initiatives mm, mm. that the government was looking at was a COFADO program for economic transformation was one of it. Financial sector initiatives. They were looking at energy sector policy initiatives, revenue measures that they were going to put in place, expenditure measures, ensuring that, you know, whatever amount of money that was coming in, they spend judicially or prudently, if you want to look at it. They will also have the voluntary education fund. Other initiatives was the national LPG promotion mm. policy, which was mm. so expected to be rolled out. And then the much talked about and one of the things that mm. was proposed which was the electricity tariff reform and, and Norman we saw that happening right exactly mm. you saw that happening we know about the LPG um, the recirculation, recirculation policy mm. that ought to be done uh, if you go on and on you you see the macroeconomic performance for 2017 all of that we were told what that was the real sector performance if you look at this graph uh, it talks about okay. overall Norman, yeah. Norman, before we talk about the graph, sorry to cut you there, uh, let, let's head to the, the markets because we went on to find out what your understanding of the budget and other government policies is. Roland Walker spoke to some traders at Mokola here in Accra. Yeah, bread to my boy. Sana Moka, would it me a yabana, sir? Yeah, bro, Yanto, dear my yay. So I asked her if sales are better in terms of the the amounts that she makes in a day and she says that of course uh, the market women tend to have that that response as a trend that the last year was better than this year into because last year na eya chen no eya chen say 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 the en kokora him say ejuma me ye member member marketer maybe say dread for one say whether mo tade o compare last year ni this year marketer me say this year na ye chain last year da i didn't na amoy eh te sa i feel the enye enye won ho wo sha wo sha de ntra sika ni ho sika ni ho sika ejuma ye di sika ni ho enye ma na bebu enye ma na bu su sika ni ho ntia ma ye nto ade so we were speaking to Auntie uh, Julie, Julian Apia, also um, sells at the market. But if you go forward, you get to have those who tend to retail grains. But among the food baskets, uh, if you take a look at what the variables are used in the calculation in the various sectors for the inflationary trend by the statistical service, you tend to have uh, non food and food. And usually the prices of um, <laughs> food. It's, it's a key component. Now, when we ask them what the trend is, they, 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 will, they, they will get to know whether there's a certain trend. Many, many of these market women source their credits or money for trading from the financial institutions. microfinance institutions can be here. Ni wo wo leake the aye banking crisis biane. How is it affecting your trade? Bank bi bi bi. Ame he wa shika kete. Kote he mo no no ayu o. Ahe no kodo 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 kodo. Ni he mo he ya ano. Ahe ni kwa wajala he. Obata si anu. O shika feta he wo. O shika feta. Wa he no kodo 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 kodo. Aha wo. One pair of I know what go free pay. from three. free pay. 
Auntie Hannah is just not bemused at all with the state of um, the trend by which we have prices and goods and services increasing. More so, she feels that we don't have the numbers coming into the market as they should. How many years? Almost 30 years now. 13? 30. 30? Yes. Okay. So she, she's been selling at the Makola market um, for the last 30 years. Uh, what would you say about um, the prices of the things that you sell in terms of noni oho? Ina amo ne? Amo. Ingbe, where do you get this one from? Togo. Republic of Togo. Togo. Minye wo esani wo shi Ghana ni wo ya Togo. Dan wo ba he amo ni wo ba wo ba ho ya Ghana. Biya ntono Ghana no ebon ko ba e ba ba she ba ko. Wo 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 ya Togo non wo wo feel feel. So you sell uh, uh, tomatoes coming from Togo? Yeah. Ma tomatoes in your home within the year? Uh, Kumase, Togo, French, Burkina. So sometimes you get some supplies from Kumase, I'm sure from Bono and the rest. And then you get it also from Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso. Tomatoes. Yes. But meanwhile, you're planting for all in, not only at all, planting for food and jobs. That be. Go government, if you know, Kony, uh, Agbene, I do need P. Your farms. I get tomatoes, can you be fair? You be over there, and we know a honey tomatoes, a sunny price is a bar down. I'm a price is a bar. She put a bongo bar. No, no, I'll be an angel. I want no, okay, mommy. How much do you buy? And then what's the trend now for compared to last year? Biantone, Biantone, we're here at 12 million French. Well, your French about 12 million. So you are talking about tomatoes coming from the francophone countries. You uh, you buy it 1,200. Uh, is it sack, basket, or what? Box and basket. Box and basket. Last year, how much were you buying the one coming from the francophone countries? No, me, last year, any. Uh, 80, 800, 8 million, 6 million, 7 million. She be at no 12 million. So last year, you were buying the imported tomatoes. Six million for a box, seven million for a box, sometimes eight. eight okay, so we're talking 600, 700, 800 Ghana cities. Yes. But now you are selling it for 12 million. Or you are buying it for 12 million. 1,200. Uh, Why? Well, eh. Eko, 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 Okay. One P, one P, Ghana. One P now, wow. So the trend is that we've had we've had increase in the prices of even the tomato that is coming from the various francophone countries. Where we have uh, Burkina Faso and the other uh, francophone countries. We have the Republic of Togo, and we have to go there, trek several kilometers outside our borders to bring. Um, tomatoes, just uh, basic tomatoes. And uh, of course, sometimes we're able to get some from the Bono and uh, the Ashanti regional areas, but usually we know that they are not uh, high growing tomato areas. So it's affected the prices. I want to ask um, Madam Ashite, um, if we want to reduce the prices, what prices are you going to do? No, I don't know. 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 I it also has an influence. Uh, okay. No, 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 if the, the economy is doing well, I try not to inflation. Inflation, according to Bank of Ghana, the finance ministry, the money we are if economy, ni bi ya no. Beje beje wo jela ne mo jela mi ne wo mpi ni bi jela wo ha wo ka wo ho ni eche. So we, we we decided to speak to them uh, because they sell various wares. More so, we have to know some of the influentials.
or the items that tend to influence the prices. And we're told that is because sometimes when the city is not doing well against the major inter international currencies, and this time we're not even talking about the US dollar, it tends to affect um, the performance of the CD and sometimes the exchange rate because many of these food items would have to be imported. We have to trek beyond the borders. We go to Togo, Burkina Faso, elsewhere in the various um, sub-regional areas to get the food items. So if these are basic items that people need and the prices keep increasing, a resulting Normal incremental prices of basic food items. Oh, how many? Low shala. What we call a momoni can it be? So, so you're you're selling momoni. Okay. No, I can sort a fish. Ne, but but then you feel low. Hello, oh, oh, many feel ni. Any any hole. From last year, no, okay, okay. Compare this year, mini, mini, mini trend. Okay, last year, last year, ne, 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 one hundred twenty-five. See this year, ne, ne. 35. Okay, 25. 25 Ghana. 25 Ghana cities. Uh -huh. She be at 35. This year, it's a way. Craft last year. No, 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 no. Is that why people don't come? Because the, the prices of. Well, like price said, when I'm young, but I lost Kani Bemami. No, no, no. Roland Walker there speaking to some traders. Uh, while others were lamenting about their current conditions, others uh, were also uh, some way suggesting what could be looked at uh, in terms of getting uh, the, the solutions to their problems. Let's go back to Northern Aquahiford, who's been sharing with us some highlights of, of the 2018 budget um, delivered to Parliament last a, a year, uh, that was 2017. Uh, Northern, take us back to that graph and uh, explain to us better what, what we are seeing there. Okay, so uh, Bernice, as I did indicate, the first macroeconomic indicators that we showed or, or we shared with viewers had to do with the 2017 budget. And as at the time, you know, when the, 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 the finance minister comes, he needs to tell you what has happened in the previous year mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. within the year what the comparison is. And if you recall, the GDP growth target for 2017 actually was 63 but then, as of 15th of November, when he was reading the budget, um, there was some revision, and it was, it, it was projected that we were supposed to grow at 7.9. And if you look at this graph, it's given you... So that um, means we went beyond the we target. Went, we went beyond the target that we had. Now, if you look at this graph, what we see here is from 2009 to the 2017, you're looking at the GDP figures, how mm -hmm. we grew as a country. So you're talking of 4.8 in 2009, 7.9 2010. Um, we went to 14% at 2011. Then we started declining from the 14. We came to 9.3 in um, 2012. Then we moved to 7.3, 4.0, 3.8, 3.7. Uh, mm. And then we went, we went back again mm. in 2017. So when he comes in, he's going to be able to tell us, you okay. know, what uh, the real thing is. But what were the real figures that, you know, they, they were projecting for 2018? Uh, we quickly have to move to that. And, and, and that's on page 12, is yes, it? Yes, page so, 12 of the so, document. So basically what we are trying to do is to let you know what the targets for this year uh, was or were. And tomorrow when the finance minister appears before Parliament, we'll be able to know how well we've done. Uh, Northern can just run us through those targets. Okay, so the following macroeconomic targets are set for 2018 uh, year. And if you look at overall GDP growth rate was to be 6.8%. Non-oil GDP growth uh, rate is at 5.4%. Uh, and period inflation rate, government was looking at 8.9%. Average inflation, 9.8%. Uh, fiscal deficit, 4.6% uh, of GDP. 4.5. Uh, 4.5, sorry, 4.5 of GDP. And then primary balance, that the surplus, was supposed to be 1.6% of GDP. And the gross foreign assets to cover at least 3.5 uh, uh, months of imports of goods and services. Mm. That is what they were uh, looking at within that period, Bernice. All right, and, and, and so hopefully, um, like I mentioned, tomorrow we'll be able to know what we've been able to do. Uh, but if you can, Norvin, just briefly help us uh, to understand what the, the specifics 
are in terms of sector development? What were we hoping to look uh, in terms of growth for the various sectors? Okay, so let's look at the uh, agri sector. So the Ministry of Agri, that is the Sectorial Performance and Outlook for 2018. Government said to improve food security and promote sustainable agriculture as indicated in the Sustainable Development Goals. These days, everybody talks about the SDDs. Mm, so mm. the SDD2, as well as create jobs, especially uh, for the teaming youth, the government said they were going to launch the Planting for Food and Jobs program to increase production of selected crops for food security and create mm. jobs for the youth. In okay. 2018, a total amount of, uh, we are looking at some 500,000 farmers will be registered and 2,700 extension agents recruited to support the program. Uh, uh, all right, Northern. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to more of that uh, as we bring you the sector by sector targets that were set in the 2018 budget. Uh, you're watching Joe News Desk with me, Benis Abubedi Lanza. Do stay. <laughs> Thanks for staying here on News Desk. And we continue our conversation on the 2019 budget. Norvan Akwaheford is still with me in studio. And uh, before that short uh, breather to, to give you those important messages, he was telling us what the targets were in the 2018 budget uh, in the agri sector. Unfortunately, we can run you through all the sectors. Uh, we'll do so in, in subsequent bulletins. But Norvan, quickly tell us what... Uh, some of the key players in the various sectors are saying with regards to their expectations for the 2019 budget? I think that, Bernice, one of the major issues that um, the government may have to look at is the issue of tax. Because on the various fronts, if you talk to, let's say, the mining sector, they are talking about exploration tax. They think that that should be scrapped and that if that is taken off, why not? You can have you could have a lot of uh, investors looking our way. Talk of the um, AGIs and talk of all the other sectors. In fact, even the KPMG, uh, in one of their reports, did indicate that tax is a major issue. And so I think that the finance minister or the economic management team, um, led by the uh, vice, vice president, president, will have to look at the issue of taxation mm. uh, because people feel that you need to rather widen the tax net mm. and then also look at how you can raise other revenues from other sectors within the economy that having very few of us who are within the tax net always having increments uh, on the tax levels and having to pay more. Mm. Interesting that uh, we wait to see uh, but Northern we do have a comprehensive plan uh, to bring the budget reading in Parliament, as well as some analysis. Can you briefly share with us uh, so viewers can know? In fact, um, tomorrow, uh, if you want to hear anything with regards to the budget, this is where you have to be. That is um, on Joy News Channel 421, and then also on Radio Joy FM, Talk of Adum FM. All our platforms, social media, online, mm. will be very heavy. The hashtag is your budget 2019. I mean, you have to ensure that you follow us everything that you need to, the, all mm -hmm. the fine details, you will get it right here. All the most important people will be talking to us. And then also when the finance minister finally gets to parliament, just make sure you are either logged on to 99.7, that is Radio Joy FM, or Adam 106.3, or you are watching, I mean, Joy News Channel here. That's on your multi-TV diggy box, or also on DSTV 421. Thank you very much, Norvan Aqua Hayford, and uh, we'll bring you more on this. Uh, trust me, we've got a great plan to help you basically understand uh, all you need to about the budget.